I'm Danny Boom and welcome to Recipe Rehab, sponsored by Everyday Health. On this week's episode, the Laros love their Nana's meatball recipe. Our Nana's meatball recipe has been in our family for generations. It's a big Sunday tradition and my dad loves this, but it's really unhealthy. All this oil makes it nice and crispy. Pour it on there. With more than 1,500 calories, this tradition needs a major health makeover. We need to rehab this recipe because my dad is hypoglycemic and he needs less sugar and less carbs. And we're always looking for recipes that are healthier for him because we want to eat this recipe every week. Please rehab our Nana's meatball recipe. Our two chefs will battle it out to see who can rehab the Lauro's recipe and make it more nutritious. I'm going to get rid of the beef. I'm using a leaner beef. Without sacrificing any of the flavor. Who uses turkey in their meatballs? The Lauro's will cook the rehab recipes in their own kitchen. Guys, we got the recipe rehab. They'll judge them on taste, health, and ease. Hopefully they didn't cut the taste out of them. This looks yeah. delicious. Which recipe will fall flat? I think we've weird. got the weird box here. Yeah. Which will score big? Oh my god, these are good. This is really good. <laughs> and who will win the title of Recipe Rehab Champion? And the winner is... Let's meet the two masters of the kitchen who will battle it out today. At the green station, Chef Laura Vitale. And at the yellow station, Chef Calvin Harris. Our chefs have to keep in mind that dad is hypoglycemic. That said, the Laros love a good family meal. So they're going to have to deliver the flavor. So let's take a close look at what we'll be dealing with here. Wow, look at that. That is a lot of pasta, it is. a lot of sauce, and a lot of the meatball. And a lot of cheese. And a lot of cheese. It's also got 1,548 calories per serving. That's almost a whole day's worth on one plate. Now, what do you guys think about this? Far too much pasta, big portion on the meat. And sodium. Oh, you guys are killing me with all that sodium. Yeah? We can drive the flavor in a number of different ways besides a whole bunch of salt. So this recipe is in desperate need of rehabbing, guys. So are you up for the challenge? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, let's put 30 minutes on the clock. Beautiful. Are you ready? Ready. Are you set? I am. Let's rehab that recipe. Today's chefs will be judged in three categories. The Lauro family will judge their dishes on the taste and the ease of preparation. Plus, the everyday health nutritionist will give each recipe a score for health. I see white bread. Is white this a bread. good sign for a healthy dish? Well, I'm not going to use very much of it right. as a binder to keep the meatballs together. OK. You know, to hold their shape, you're going to need some breadcrumbs. And because they're nice and fresh, I don't have to use a lot of egg because they're not as dry. Calvin, how are you doing there, buddy? I'm doing well. What's your plan of attack? Which one are you going to go for first? The meatballs? First thing, meatballs. Right. Obviously, get those in the oven. Why are you putting meatballs in the oven? Why well, have all that extra fat? I okay. can take the fat off while the baking process. So we're going to go leaner? Yeah. Allow the flavor to develop a little bit slower so it have a little bit more flavor right. toward the end. Are you going to stay with beef? I am going to use beef, but I'm, I'm using a leaner beef. I'm mm -hmm. doing an 80 20 percentage, so. 80 20 percent. And now, Laura, where are you going to start trimming the fat, let's say? I'm going to get rid of the recipe. beef. Oh, we're using turkey. We are, but we're using a combination of the dark meat and the breast meat because I want to keep it nice and lean, but the dark meat really imparts a lot of flavor and keeps the meatball moist. OK, you hear that, Calvin? She's getting rid of the beef. She's going for turkey. I am. <laughs> You laugh, you laugh now. I'm really surprised she did that. How can you be an Italian from Jersey and cook you know, meatballs without No one respects beef. a good meatball more than I do, but so. when you're dealing with someone that's hypoglycemic and all that, you want to keep things as light as possible. Right. And you've got Parmesan cheese in there as well, right? I do. I have a little bit of good quality Parmesan cheese, like I always say. And then to add a good amount of flavor to this, but not a lot of fat, I'm going to use some pesto in the meatball. How cool. You want to make it a little leaner, you want to make it a little healthy, but you still want it to be really delicious. Right, so. right, right. When we've only got 20 minutes left, 20 minutes, you still got to do a sauce, you still got to boil water for pasta, and you still got to cook off your uh, meatballs. Oh, okay. now I see how we're cheating here. To make a good sized meatball, yeah. my tip is to use a small ice cream scoop. That's really They cool. all come out the same size, and it's good portion control. We're at now the halfway point here, guys. Chef Calvin's just gone for the big meatball. It's healthier, but will the Laros like the taste? Chef Laura, she's going with lean turkey meat. It's a bold move. 
would it backfire? Mm-hmm. We'll find out soon, but first, it's time for a break, and why don't you have a look at this Better Eats pop quiz? Here's your Better Eats pop quiz question of the day. Which is the healthiest fat to cook with? Is it A, butter, B, olive oil, or C, lard? The answer when we return to Recipe Rehab. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. Before the break, we asked you, which is the healthiest fat to cook with? Is it A, butter, B, olive oil, or C, lard? If you said olive oil, you were right. Olive oil is an unsaturated fat, whereas butter and lard are saturated fats. Unsaturated fats may help lower your blood cholesterol level when used in the place of saturated fats or trans fats. Now, let's get back to the kitchen. Our two professional chefs are going head to head in a battle to trim the calories, fat and sodium out of the Laro spaghetti and meatballs recipe. Chef Laura is using turkey while Chef Calvin is using leaner beef. Sounds healthy, but which rehab recipe will win the hearts and stomachs of the Laro family? You've got nearly 10 minutes up there, so we've got to get that sauce on the go. Yep. Oh, look at this. I love this. This is what I think of when I think of Italian food, is the great fresh herbs. We've got some basil, we've got some oregano in there. In a little fresh thyme. And you know what, and I just put my hand in there and it's like, you smell the freshness immediately. I mean, look at Chef Calvin there, he's just rifling through it. Can I just ask you a question? Why are you using all these cans here? Are you just gonna basically go straight from the can? I want this to be easy. I want you to be able to replicate it really at home. And from a time perspective, we have 30 minutes to make it happen. Yep. This is going to allow you to have a nice, healthy, convenient meal. And if it's not convenient, you won't replicate it. Right. So with all these tomatoes in the cans and things, are you worried about the sodium content? I use reduced sodium and oh, no salt. Oh, you see, there we go again. I'm going to tell you now, any Italian, I have a nonna, everybody has a nonna, everybody knows a nonna, and she'll always tell you it's not the pasta you use, it's the sauce. But the sauce is so full of sodium, we've got to bring it down. Now, the Laro's recipe has 150% of your daily recommended sodium intake. That's huge. I've got water boiling over here. I've got sizzles over there. It's all happening. So I'm going to deglaze the pan because there's a lot of good flavor under there. So let's deglaze. talk about deglazing. What Chef Laura's doing here right now, you might see all these. These are golden nuggets of flavor because basically all the sugar has been basically drawn out. Right. OK. And then we add a little bit of wine in there to lift it off the bottom of the pan. And it steams all those flavors through together. Beautiful. Absolutely. A little white wine goes a long way. And you've gone for canned tomatoes too. I You're have. not going to throw any fresh in? No, I'm not, because let's face it, when can you find fresh tomatoes in season? You know, when they're really good. Yeah. What are we going to do with the pasta? Are we going to stick with regular pasta? I'm sticking with regular pasta. I've made the cut by using turkey, so I can afford to use regular pasta. Right. However, I'm only going to use a pound for six people. And oh, now we've got whole wheat pasta um, here. I'm going with a little whole grain pasta. I want to give them a little bit more flavor. Flavor as well as fiber. I see. At the moment, you have six minutes left. I'm looking in the oven, the meatballs are browning, but are they going to be cooked? Now, here we go. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Those little meatballs. I'm gonna dunk them right in. So what they've done is basically, instead of sautéing them in fat, what we've done is basically sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil spray. We're gonna throw them into the sauce and then they're gonna basically cook all the way through. But the question is, in four minutes time, will they be cooked all the way through? I think so. I think so. Because mine are itty bitty size. So yours are a little itty bitty size, but these, these are, you know, these are big boys. Also, are they going to hold together? Because I didn't really see you put any binding in there. Actually, I used an egg. OK. Yeah, as well as some breadcrumbs in there. Oh, you did? We used actually breadcrumbs. Yes, I used panko breadcrumbs. You like your panko? I do like my panko. Is, is there a particular reason why? Is it healthier or is it? It seemed to be a little bit lighter. Right, right. If you like what you see here today, then be sure to catch the first season of Recipe Rehab on the Everyday Health YouTube channel, OK? How's the sauce coming on there? Perfect. Done. Beautiful. We've got 30 seconds left. You've got to start thinking about plating.
Three, two, one. You're out of time, guys. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Wow. Great rehabs. I've got to say, they look beautiful. Yours is a little different. Yours is very much similar to the beginning. So, hmm. But that's only half the battle now because up next, the Laros will recreate your recipes. Guys, we got the recipe rehab. In their own kitchen and then decide who's got the better eats. One cheese. It's not even as big as my face. <laughs> what happens next could determine who wins recipe rehab. So don't you go away. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab. The fate of Chef Laura and Chef Calvin is now down to the hands of the Lauros. Guys, we got the recipe rehab. We've sent them all the ingredients they needed to make both of the rehab recipes. One Before they choose their favorite, they've got to cook them. Turkey? Who uses turkey in their meatballs? I don't know. I don't know if this is true Italian. One cheese. It's not even as big as my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look Our at this guys. Are literally breadcrumbs. Wheat pasta, whole wheat organic pasta. Got hot peppers for ours. Oh, 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 bay gosh. leaves. I think we've got the weird box here. Yeah. It's really important to my family to start eating healthier so my dad can eat more from his hypoglycemia. Are you guys ready to go? We're ready. ready. I'm ready. Okay. Absolutely. Let's go to betterEats.com and see what our recipes are. There's a lot of different ingredients which we don't normally put in our recipes. I can't believe we're using turkey. I'm concerned it's not going to taste like an Italian meatball, so we shall see. This looks delicious. Make sure you guys put the ground turkey, pesto, garlic, fresh breadcrumbs, parmesan, egg whites, salt, and pepper. Yes. We did all that while you were mincing the garlic. Well, that was difficult. I'm sorry. Oh my god, you guys are already mixing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, we're behind. Okay, let's keep going. Um, what are you guys doing over there? We're sauteing. Combine beef, breadcrumbs, grated cheese, egg. She was reading off the recipe to me while I was chopping and cutting. Fennel, red pepper, red pepper. Red pepper. My god, look at all these ingredients. The yellow recipe has a lot of ingredients. It was taking long, a lot of great ingredients, and so let's see how that works together. I'm not sure how everyone is going to feel about it. We need something that the whole family loves. Okay, Okay, that's good. Okay. That's, that's, that's just those. Meatball recipe is, is definitely a lot different from what I'm used to. Three tablespoons grated Parmesan. Three what? tablespoons? And Jelena, huh. only three of these in the meatball. That is not enough. On bettereats.com, it says that aged cheese, like Parmesan cheese, yeah. is a trigger for migraines. You get migraines all the time. <laughs> and you love cheese. Well, there's less Parmesan cheese in yours, right? Yeah. yeah. There's less in ours. You need to make 20 of them? Yep. Then we bake them for 20 minutes. Bake them. It doesn't say fry them. Do you guys fry yours? No, we bake them too. Hopefully they didn't cut the taste out of them. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that we always do is we fry our meatballs, and we fry them in a lot of oil. With this recipe, you're baking the meatballs. So right away, you okay. cut out two thirds of the fat, at least. Okay, 20 minutes. When we compare those recipes, we saw that the sodium was cut way back. We didn't realize there was so much salt in there. Sodium on our original recipe had 3,383. Now we've got 819. Wow. So, sodium wow. by two thirds. The calories from fat are by two thirds. That helps everything. The saturated fat is two thirds cut. Cholesterol, which is important yeah. for us yep. too. And also the sugar content, which is the most important for our family based on my husband's health. What about your sugar content? Original yeah. sugars were 29, and now we've got 11. So there you go, it's two thirds again. When the meatballs were ready, we stuck it in the sauce, and that was really easy to do. We just had to simmer some onions, put some tomato sauce in there. Hey, hey ours looks like it's ready. How about yours? I think ours is done too. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, let's get the ultimate test. Let's try it with the pasta. We finally finished, and now we want to taste our recipes and see who makes the better recipe. Oh my god, these are good. Mm. This is actually really good. This is really good. The red pepper, it kind of tastes almost like when you order pizza and it has meatball on the pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does taste it like does. that. You know, yeah. that's what it tastes like. This is definitely a new twist on the meatballs. Oh my the God. wheat pasta doesn't taste like it's wheat. Yeah, it okay. tastes the same. You know, this is a bit spicy for me. Really? Yeah, just a tad. I don't like how you can taste the fennel so much because I don't really like fennel too much, but I feel like it all together. Good. It is. All right, let's try the green one. All right. Okay. The sauce in this one is a lot better. Mm -hmm. 
The sauce tastes more of a traditional Italian mm -hmm. sauce. The other one tastes a little bit more peppery, mm -hmm. but this one tastes more traditional. Yeah, well, it has a lot of the diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes in it. It's really flavorful, but it just doesn't really taste too much like a meatball. Mm -hmm. They're a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very dense. Very dense. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Really good, though. It is completely different. I like these better than those. But you like the meatballs better, and you don't like turkey? Well. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's tough like because they're both so different. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard to decide which one's better. The Laros really enjoyed the new recipes. How about you? Is rehabbing recipes your thing too? Then go to bettereats.com slash recipe rehab and show us. In just moments, the Laros will make their final decision. Both were easy and delicious, but overall one came out on top. And one of our chefs will win the ultimate bragging rights. And the winner is... The title of recipe rehab champion. We're back after this. Welcome back to Recipe Rehab, it's decision time. Chef Laura and Chef Calvin came to our kitchen coliseum to see who could create the most nutritious version of Nana's classic. We saw the real renaissance in our kitchen today, but sadly, there can only be one meatball hero. Our chefs will be judged in three categories. The Lauro family will judge their dishes on taste and ease of preparation. Plus, the everyday health nutritionists will give each recipe a score for health. Now, there are 10 points per category, and the perfect score we're looking for is 30. Are you ready to get your scores? Yes, sir, I am. Yeah? Ready. Okay, first let's take a look at how Chef Calvin's yellow recipe fared. Chefs, thank you for rehabbing our Nana's meatball recipe. Both were easy and delicious, but overall one came out on top. Let's start with the yellow recipe for taste. It had a really nice texture and the meatballs were really soft. The sauce, however, was a little bit plain, but it did have a lot of ingredients in the meatballs, which really did make up for the fact that the sauce was a little bit on the plain side. So for taste, we gave the yellow recipe a nine out of 10. And for health, the everyday health nutritionist expert gave it a score of seven out of 10. The everyday health nutritionist gave him a seven. They were big fans of the whole wheat pasta, but still felt the carbs were a little bit too high. So what do you think of that, Kevin? Hey, you may assume you lose some, but I thought we'd You have not lost yet. For ease, we thought the yellow recipe took a little bit longer to make than the green recipe, and it also had a lot more ingredients than the green recipe. So for ease, we gave the yellow recipe an eight out of 10, because it did take longer to make. And that's a total of 24 points for the yellow recipe. Mmm, so Chef Calvin got 24. And now let's find out what the Laro family thought of Chef Laura's green recipe. For taste, the green recipe, we really like the sauce a lot better than the yellow recipe. However, the meatballs we thought were really dense and not all of us liked the turkey taste, even though we were surprised on how good the turkey really did come out on these meatballs. So for taste, we gave the green recipe a seven out of 10. And for health, the everyday health nutritionist experts gave it a total of a seven out of 10. The everyday health nutritionist gave Chef Laura a seven. They liked the use of low fat turkey, but still felt the calories were too high. For ease, we thought that the green recipe was a lot simpler to make and had a lot less ingredients with it. If me and my sisters could make this recipe, anyone can make this recipe. So for ease, we gave the green recipe a nine out of 10, which comes to a grand total of 23 points. And the winner is the yellow recipe. And that means Chef Calvin is the recipe rehab champion for the day. Wow. Woo. Congratulations, sir. Now, what do you think of that, Kelvin? I'm happy. I'm yeah. shocked I beat the Italian stallion from New Jersey. And yeah, she was You're on tour. One point, <laughs> one point. If you at home would like to try either of today's spaghetti and meatball recipes, surf on over to bettereats.com slash recipe rehab. Make sure you tell us which one you preferred. And while you're there, you'll even find more rehab recipes and cooking tips and tricks. It's all at bettereats.com slash recipe rehab. Thanks to today's chefs and the Lauro family, and we hope to see you and your family again soon on Recipe Rehab. Ciao, a grazie.